Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would have a look at other ways that you can create presets. So you can obviously start off with an init and that is what the init sounds like and build it up from scratch from there. Or you can find a preset that you like in any of these categories. So you've got basses, drums, effects, keys, leads, pads, plucks, sequence and arp and synths. So for instance, we could have a a look at some of the pads and you could start off with something that you liked and then change that and then save that as a new preset. Uh, yeah, so we'll so start off with the init. Well, that's it, that is what it sounds like. There's one oscillator on and it is classic and a sine wave. So kind of fairly typical as to what you would start off with. First thing that we need to do is obviously add in some other oscillators because one's not really going to be that exciting so we'll add in another two we'll put them all at 50 percent so the first one's on classic a sine wave and then that is all your other types of waves so we'll leave it on sine because there's no harm in having a sine wave we will go to oscillator 2 and change it to fm and then we will change that to piano 2 and then oscillator 3 we can change that to a saw pulse wave and we will put in a Let's say a violin on that one. So that is now what we have kind of got. So for instance, if we want to do a pad, uh, we could uh, switch this down an octave and uh, obviously put up the attack. So I've got my keyboard mapped so I can put up the attack, the decay and the release. So we get more of a kind of pad sound. So we go back to oscillator one, we can bump up the voices to say four um, on all of them. You can leave them at one octave, you can change the octave. But I'll leave that one octave for the time being. So we'll go back to classic and then we can adjust these controls here. So we can put control A, adjusts the actual uh, waveform. And then you've kind of got a wet mix as well. And phase. So that is uh, oscillator one. Oscillator two is FM. So again, we can adjust the uh, the wet mix. We can change the waveform. So we could change that. And again, we go through the phase, and we can maybe put that up an octave, and it get made more of a kind of bell sound. sounding better already. Pulse wave, we could, uh, what could we do with that? We could kind of, uh, maybe, let's have a look. You can hear the difference. I like it. I kind of like the fatter. Let's just try a different. Uh, let's try. Uh, uh, let's try an organ on that. Actually, let's use the organs. Let's try an organ. Right, that 
is quite cool. I'm liking that. So we've got uh, this section here, which is the mix section. So we can put wide on. We want Anna on and key on, and we'll put on filter on the kind of, and we'll add in another. You know, we could add in Scorpio to take off some of that kind of. Bring on down the, uh, the cut off. Let's lose a, a black LP4. Right, let's fatten that up a bit. So we'll take the filter balance to 50. So that's that. We've got the shapers on warm now. This really makes a big difference changing the shaper because we're on warm. If I change this to tube, put the drive up and bring in the wet mix, you can hear. So that is the smoothing and that is the bit rate. So cut down so yeah that normally makes quite a difference putting on a tube we'll switch the EQ on we'll bump up the So yeah, so happy with that. Bring on a bit of chorus and uh, it's on the G8, which is perfect for this. So we can take the high cut down. So as you can see, this takes a lot longer than AI. Depends what you want to do. I mean, it's I have nothing against AI. It's a good starting point. So that's the envelopes done, and uh, we're going to need to go into the matrix now and apply some stuff to the mod wheel because there's nothing happening with the mod wheel. So if we go to trigger one and go to shaper and drive and ramp this up. So we'll put on control A on oscillator one, oscillator two, two and oscillator three right and we'll see what that does right and we'll bump these up to about 700 to find something else that wasn't really doing very much we'll try the pitch we'll put on we'll put an oscillator one pitch we'll leave one of these on control what's the second ones yeah we'll, we'll put on uh and then we'll try envelope attack and let's try uh, lfo uh, rate on that one so we'll see if this makes any difference because that wasn't really doing much Right, that's better. At least something's happening now. Well, that's the other four eight on the pitch. So if you want to find out, just take the just take this back down to to zero, and uh, you can see. So right, we don't really want the also the pitch. That's doing too much. Malaki, uh, let's adjust the chorus rate instead which was uh, where was the chorus rate Put the reverb on then, because that's not doing anything. Uh, we'll put on the do, 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 reverb and uh, dry wet, and we'll see what that does. Uh, 
and we will change that to ambience and we'll start it off about there and we'll put that up there and bring the decay down and put the color up right and we'll take that up probably about there That is a pad from scratch and that took quite a while. that took about 10 minutes. So we need to save that. So we'll go in, I'll put it into my soundscapes and we will save. And uh, yes, I want to save as, right, we'll name it as Deep Phase and save that. There we go. So you can see I've been doing some other ones here. So that is uh, kind of creating one from scratch. You know, so it is worth doing this from an init just to learn how this all works. I mean, it's kind of the quickest way to learn it. I mean, you can read the manual, but unless you actually play around with it and see what change of things does, that is the best way to start off with an init and then just play around and try and achieve something that you like. Um, so yeah, so like I said, the other way you can do this is to start off with a preset that you like from one of these pads or leads or effects, whatever you want, and then just play around with that and uh, and then resave it. These are some of the other ones that I've been faffing about with. So these were mainly all inits, and there's one that was done from this preset here. So, so I kind of started off with that, and I think I ended up with Planet Perfecto. See what's happening in the matrix. Not a lot, <laughs> just the cutoff. And we'll go to dark magic. So you can see they're mostly all three oscillators. You've got FM classics, and that's kind of what I like doing using the kind of different oscillators. Matrix has got a few more things on. Mostly there's an envelope, a res and chorus. And then there was Venus Approach, and this is a bit mental.
that was quite a cool. That's probably my favourite one, yeah. And then uh, Wolf Moon Rising. So we've got the cut off, the main volume, and the shape drive, and Res 1. So you can see I've actually got the main volume going down rather than up. Or it would just be so if I take that back down you can see. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on and do a mixture of pads and soundscapes and we will yeah, eventually get enough to put on the store. So maybe next one I will kind of look at maybe just adapting some effects or leads or we'll do something else instead of pads and uh, saving those as something else. Uh, so anyway, so thanks for watching and as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share and comment and I will see you in the next one.